you've been wondering about the Milwaukee M18 lawn equipment, then stay tuned. Welcome back guys. So this week I'm quickly taking you through my setup for the Milwaukee M18 lawn equipment that I have. So we're gonna be looking at the M18 blower. Then you've got the power head, which is the interchangeable unit, which comes with the whipper snipper or the trimmer and the edger. They're the main two I use. As you can see, the lawns come up pretty good. We're just coming into winter. So it's just going a little bit dormant now, which is sort of good because I have been mowing it up to three times a week. This is the mower that I use. It's a Rover 45, which is a version of the Scott Bonner. I won't be going too much into that, but if you're uh, after any questions or answers about that, definitely hit me up in the comments. All right, so I'm only doing a really quick run through of this. This is the power head from Milwaukee. It is a fuel. I have a eight amp hour battery. I would almost start with an eight. Um, I only have a hundred out the front and a hundred square meter out the back. And this gets it done just um, with the blower as well. I do need to use another battery. So that gives you a little bit of a heads up. Um, you will see how much it uses in this video. Basically I have a handle. I like it loose so I can move it around. You've got the adjustable nut there and the trigger. And all that is for is for the actual head to clip in. You can see it clips in. I normally don't even bother tightening that up. It does clip in there. And then to get that off, nice and easy. As you can see, that's the trimmer end. I actually don't like to have the guard on it. Um, that's up to you, that is a preference. It is safer to have the guard. I like it off for what I do. And to adjust it, just spin the end and it pulls out. Go the other way, it pulls in. Super easy. And it's just as easy to actually refill it when these are fully empty, all you have to do is poke it straight through the hole. Just got to line up the two red red dots there, throw it through the hole and then twist it. Super easy. The next up, you've just got the edger. If you haven't seen an edger before, it's basically just a steel blade. Spins, you put this on the ground, on the concrete, I'll show you in a sec, and it just edges the edge of your lawn very nicely. Thirdly, I've done a whole video on this one. This is just the blower. Really good for after you have done the edges or the mowing, just a blower. I'll show you that. Just one more quick thing that I have done. I've actually put a cable tie around there. Don't tell OH&S. That is the, uh, the safety function. It's like a dead man switch. So you normally have to pull that one and then this one. But I find that sort of awkward and annoying. That way that can always work. But when I put it away, I take the battery off. And just to also show you, this battery, I tried to charge it just before, came up with fully charged, and I only got the three bars. So I'm hoping this goes all right, but so at the moment it's on three bars. We'll see how it goes for this side's lawn. So normally I'll just do the sides there, and this side, same sort of thing. So these are from Tactics, these are just from Bunnings, and these are an MP3 Bluetooth headset. So they are really handy and quite a good sound. Not the best, I'm really wanting to try the new 3M ones, but at the moment these will do.
right, so I got the majority of the front done, but as you can see, she's on one bar. So I think there's actually something wrong with this battery. So we'll have to get that checked and we'll have to see if it's under warranty. If it doesn't start working, we'll go swap over to another battery. So we've got another one. This one's pretty old now, but this is a five amp hour, fully charged. Keep going. Alright, so I've just used the edger and we are still four bars. So I'll throw it on the blower, just give it a bit of a blow onto the grass and then I can mow it. So, all mown. Let's see those stripes. Bucket that one a little bit. Coming up pretty bright. So now I'm just going to get the blower out again. You can sort of see see how good those lines are. But we'll get the blower out and then have a final look. Alright, so as you can see, it's fairly clean. Obviously, there wasn't much need of an edge this week as the grass isn't growing that quick. But you can see over time how much of an edge it's left. I wouldn't actually mind even giving the blade a sharpen. But you can see it's a really defined edge. That's what you're after. Especially in the corner there. But yeah, that's what you can achieve with the Milwaukee M18 lawn equipment. Just waiting on this to become a Milwaukee. So my overall thoughts on the Milwaukee lawn equipment is that it's really good, really worth the money. Um, I definitely recommend that you get ear protection for the blower. It is a louder product. So I definitely recommend you do that. Um, I've had it for maybe a year now, coming up to a year, it's almost tax time. That's when I bought it last year and I cannot rate it enough. I've used it a couple of times a week 
especially through winter, uh, through summer, sorry. Uh, and I have never had a fault, never had a problem. Definitely get a larger battery though. A lot of this gear does suck the juice. But if you had any questions about the equipment, definitely let me know. Hit me up in the comments. And until next time, guys, stay addicted to tools.